the LEGO Orient Express, perhaps the most controversial LEGO train set ever made. But is the set worth it and should you get it after the fear of missing out from the release day? Well, let's find out if this is the perfect model for you. The LEGO Orient Express was too many, a big disappointment. Why? Because it was significantly changed from the original fan submission. If you're not aware, LEGO Ideas is a place where LEGO fans can upload their creations, and if such creations get 10,000 supporters, well, they can become a real LEGO set if the company approves it, and the LEGO company approved this fan submission. But the LEGO set is almost nothing like the original fan submission. First off, the locomotive is significantly smaller, more on that later. However, there are two coaches, which is a plus. The focus of this set were definitely the coaches. After all, the Orient Express is owned by Belmont, an hotelier that focuses on ultra luxury experiences, and their influence can definitely be felt here. Let's start with this base. Just like the Crocodile locomotive, this set includes a base in order for you to display this set anywhere you want, except the bathroom. It's not made to run a train, it's definitely essential. By that I mean there's not much to it per se. Is it necessary? Personally yes. Also there are some issues like the stability. You can hear as the train goes by with the ch 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 However, this is for display so no need to actually run a train here. But let's go over my favorite part, the coaches. The Orient Express features two coaches, restaurant and sleeping. Let's start with the restaurant car. The exterior is fantastic, the roof is smooth and that's great. The set also features the name of famous destinations. The first batch got the names of München and Bucharest wrong. Thankfully you can see LEGO has corrected these ones. The colors are blue and gold. What makes this possible is this new piece. This bracket allows the windows to stick to the sides per se, creating a seamless window. However, a drawback are the names. They stand out, literally. It doesn't look smooth unfortunately. The exterior features four stickers all on the doors. And guess what? These stickers also came wrong. So you have to call LEGO if you get these yellow stickers. Gold is correct, yellow is wrong. The doors do open and there is even a small hallway here. The restaurant car features this stop at the end to allow passengers to not jump off the train. The underside of the coach is detailed for a LEGO set, but for $300 it needs a bit more. Also note that this model comes with the controversial wheels that are not metal axles. This is a disappointment to many LEGO train fans. Let's check out the interior. Just like the real Orient Express, the focus is on alcohol. Now LEGO is not fully against alcohol, however the thing is that this feels more like an advertisement. It's almost like the Orient Express wants to promote a lifestyle of luxury and drinking, which I'm not a big fan of. But one weird decision is this teacup with a lime. No idea what this could be guys. The bar features this beautiful mural that combines Lego and elegance. The restaurant features impressive seating. Note the use of the cupcake piece as a lantern. Overall this interior is great. There's a lot of space for the minifigures and a lot of detail. This is the stuff of dreams personally. But let's go over the other coach, the Voiture Li. Now, the exterior is basically the same, however, as a pair they look great, creating a nice rhythm. The interior features two rooms, one has a bunk bed with a newspaper and this board game. It also features a hidden sink, reminiscent of the real train, very elegant. The other room features a bed with this mirror sticker, which is cool. This room is larger, as it features a table with a typewriter and a sofa, very uncomfortable for the minifigures, unfortunately. This room features a bathroom with sink, utilizing a car piece as towels and a toilet as well. The highlight is the floor pattern. The train also features these elegant wooden-like details with a mural reminiscent of the real-life train. The highlight of this set are definitely the coaches. All the detail and attention is directed at them. And this makes sense. When people think of the Orient Express, they think of the coaches and that book that got turned into a mediocre movie. People don't think of the locomotive. Belmont promotes the coaches, not the locomotive. But again, this is a $300 model. So 
Shouldn't we want a better locomotive? Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. The locomotive. Spoilers, it's mediocre at best. This 460 machine features a very complicated building technique that is quite annoying when you get building it. First off, you notice the small details, pieces like pans, a bucket and minion heads. Wait, what? were used to recreate this generic unspecified locomotive. Another quality control issue is these pieces. They were used for the boiler, and you can see they are not properly lining up, each one is different, it's like a snowflake. For a $300 model, this is outrageous. The locomotive is named Sapphire Star, a reference to the Emerald Knight. Man, that locomotive was way better. And the 52, a reference to the fact that this is the 50 second Lego Ideas model. The wheels are also present and they definitely exist. They run as well. There's not much else to say. The tender is small and features space to store coal. However, pay attention to this, it can open up, which is weird since this model doesn't officially support motorization. More on that later. Another issue came with this set, it gave me two of the same piece instead of the dark grey arch. However, I'm not going to wait two more weeks, I just want to enjoy my $300 train guys. So calling Lego is not a priority right now. Yes, this is unacceptable at this point. So this locomotive is an inferior version of the original submission. But to be honest, the original submission would have been almost impossible to make. However, this doesn't justify the almost Thomas the Tank looking locomotive. Why not just remake the Emerald Knight? Yeah, it doesn't make sense in terms of geography, but at least that locomotive look great. Secondly, this locomotive is too small compared to the rest of the set. This creates a weird proportion. Also, I would like to see the locomotive to be a different color. This would help differentiate it from the coaches. However, it is clear the focus is again the coaches, cause the Orient Express is a real thing and it's also mega expensive. So this Lego set feels almost like a commercial. A simple solution is to attach the crocodile locomotive instead. Now let's talk about another issue, quality control. Yes, this set suffers a lot from it. Many of the issues I presented were fixed, but it's still a miss bag, especially if you buy it second hand. When I first got this set, I was mega excited. However, I quickly learned that my set came with the wrong stickers, so I went to LEGO's website, then the stickers came, and it was the sticker I already have because this set has two stickers. They gave me the ones that were correct, not the wrong ones. Ah man. So I went to call Lego, but their systems were down. So later I called and then got everything solved. Almost. Except that last piece that I'm going to solve someday. Some of the quality control issues were not even addressed, like those not so straight lines. So it's a pathetic situation for LEGO they have put themselves into. Of course problems happen, however at this point when you are paid $300, it's unjustified. Yes, LEGO solved the problems, but I do believe this is horrible customer service. Now let's talk about motorization. LEGO said this model could not be motorized because of the weight of the two coaches. However, that didn't stop fans for trying different solutions. However, there are some problems. First is that the train has difficulty turning the tight LEGO train tracks. The train also derails on switch tracks. The tender is the main problem. It's clear that this is more of a display piece rather than a playset. However, I see that as an oversight. Model trains are made to run and be motorized and they cost more. So when LEGO does something like this, it should be held up to the same standard. So, should you buy this model? Personally, I say, not yet. I would wait for a discount. However, if you have the money, this is the stuff that maybe you enjoy. Why? Well, because there are not many passenger trains by LEGO currently, so you are kind of out of options. And a detailed model like this fulfills the requirements most LEGO train fans want. So, unfortunately, in life, many times you have to deal with what you have. And this train is what we have. If LEGO sees this model as a failure, they are not going to make more train sets, guys. I like the half of this model a lot, but for its price, it's hard to justify. So let's compare it. How about a used LGB Orient Express? 
I found one for almost $3,400. There is also a Merkley model set for almost $1,000. So you can see LEGO Train is on the cheaper side in terms of model railroading. So what do you think of this set? Let us know in the comments below. This is a LEGO Ideas model. In fact, the design is hidden as a minifigure because he is a director. So, if you want to see more LEGO Ideas train projects made by fans like you and me, well, I definitely recommend clicking this video on the screen right now.